Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about kinetics of the antibody response. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. The humoral immunity is mediated by the serum antibodies, which are the proteins secreted by B cells. So B cells uh, secretes the serum antibodies and the uh, B cells are initially activated uh, to secrete the antibodies after binding of antigen to specific membrane immunoglobulin molecules. Once bound, the B cell receives signal to begin making the secreted form of the immunoglobulin and that process it initiates the full-blown antibody response and the purpose of that is to eliminate the antigen from the host. The antibodies are a heterogeneous mixture of serum globulins uh, which will share the ability to bind individually, individually to the specific antigens. Let's see the primary and uh, secondary uh, responses. The first exposure of an individual to an immunogen or the antigen is referred to as the primary immunization and which generates a primary response. The primary antibody response may be divided into several phases. Uh, this may be lag or latent phase, log or exponential phase, plateau or steady state and the declining phase. The lag phase is the immediate stage uh, following antigenic stimulus uh, during which no antibody is detectable in the circulation and the length of the period is generally 1 to 2 weeks. Whereas in exponential phase, uh, there is a steady uh, rise in the titer of antibody and the concentration of antibody in the serum dramatically increase. Uh, there is an exponential increase in the antibody in the serum. In the plateau or steady state, uh, there is an equilibrium between antibody synthesis and the degradation. In the declining phase, the concentration of antibody in serum declines uh, rapidly. A second exposure to the same immunogen uh, results in the secondary response. So once uh, the uh, primary immunogen or the primary immunization happens, antibody will be produced, but it goes through a different phases. The second exposure to the same immunogen will result in a secondary response. The second exposure may occur after the response of the first immune event leveled off or has totally subsided. So once the, uh, the, the levels of the first immune response has totally subsided, the secondary uh, response will start. The secondary response is also called the memory or uh, anamnestic uh, response and the B and T lymphocytes that participate in the memory response are termed as memory cells. The primary response is slow and uh, short lived with a long lag phase and low titer of antibodies that do not uh, persist for long. However, the secondary response is prompt powerful and prolonged with a short or negligible lag phase and a much high level of antibody which will last for a longer period. So the primary response is very slow and short lived but the secondary response can uh, generate higher level of antibodies. As you can see in this graph uh, the first exposure to the antigen and the levels of uh, IgM and IgG levels and uh, whereas in uh, uh, the second exposure the levels may go much higher. Total antibody levels may go much higher. In the primary response, the first class of antibody is uh, detected is generally IgM, then IgG or uh, another antibody class. Uh, there is a marked change in the type and quality of antibody produced in the secondary response. And there is a shift in uh, class response known as class switching with IgG antibodies appearing at higher concentration and with a greater uh, persistence than IgM which may be greatly reduced or disappear altogether. This may also accompanied by the appearance of uh, IgA and IgE. IgG, IgE and IgA molecules are collectively referred to as secondary classes of antibody because uh, they are thought to be produced only after antigen stimulation, uh, stimulation and uh, because they dominate secondary antibody response. With the passage of uh, time after immunization, there is usually a progressive increase in the affinity of antibodies produced against the immunizing agent. And this phenomenon is uh, known as the affinity maturation and is due to the accumulation of uh, point mutation specifically in both heavy chain and the light chain V region coding the sequences. Let's see the features of primary and the secondary antibody response. The time lag after immunization for primary response is usually 5 to 10 days uh, whereas uh, in secondary response it is only 1 to 3 days and the peak response is smaller in case of uh, primary response whereas it is larger in case of the secondary response. The antibody isotype uh, usually IgM is greater than IgG uh, whereas uh, in secondary response there is a relative increase in the IgG. The antibody affinity is very lower in um, primary response whereas it is higher in the secondary response. 
and the primary response is induced by all immunogens uh, but uh, secondary response is uh, induced only by the uh, protein antigens relatively high doses of antigen uh, may be required for immunization in the primary response whereas uh, low doses of antigen is sufficient to induce a response the responding uh, b cells in case of uh, primary response is naive b cell whereas in secondary response is memory b cell the antigens uh, are thymus dependent or thymus independent and uh, the secondary response is thymus dependent hope you are clear with this uh, topic if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you